COVID, COVID, to be specific, COVID-19. That name gets further and further away from China, as opposed to calling it the Chinese virus. Determined to share her findings with the world, she was allegedly forced to flee to the U.S. for her own safety. And it's from a secret location that she joins us today. Dr. Yan, thank you so much for joining us. It's an incredible story that you have to tell. And like we say, you were, you're a scientist, you're a virologist, you were working at the Hong Kong School of Public Health. And it was back in December, you were asked to study a cluster of this uh, unknown virus cases um, coming out of Wuhan, to be precise. What did you discover in those early days? Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. So first, let me briefly introduce the whole thing from the beginning. So I'm the medical doctor and also PhD who work in the University of Hong Kong School of Public Health in the WHO reference lab for both influenza and later the new coronavirus. So basically, I work with a bunch of the top coronavirus and also emerging disease experts in the world. And because I had got my two degrees from mainland China, and I'm the only one who can speak in Mandarin there, so I'm the one from the core team uh, assigned to, is assigned to uh, go to do the secret investigation about the new pneumonia in Wuhan and back to the end December, 31 December last year. So for, uh, during my uh, investigation, which lasted until uh, twice from early January, uh, end of December, early January, to the uh, second time, the mid-January, what I have found is actually report to my supervisor, who's a US, uh, WHO consultant, but uh, there is no response from WHO and from them because everyone warned me that don't cross the red line and don't uh, uh, keep the sil keep silence. If not, I will get disappeared. So finally, on 17th January, I know I have to tell it to people because it's urgent. And then I turn to contact a very famous Chinese YouTuber based in you. U.S. Mr. Lude and delivers a 5K pound to him, which was the first time it was told to the world, but it's in Chinese. That is first China government was discovering the uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, situation. The second thing is uh, the whole uh, situation is human to human transmission already exists. The third thing is uh, SARS-CoV-2 is a high mutant virus and uh, it will become the outbreak soon if no control. The fourth thing is the seafood market in Wuhan and uh, all the intermediate hosts, they, uh, these are the uh, smoke screen. And the final thing is this virus is not from nature. This is based on the China Military Institute discovered and owned some bad coronavirus named the ZC45 and ZXC21. Based on that, after lab modification, becomes a novel virus. So, sorry, Dr. So Jan, just, Dr. Jan, if I may interrupt just a second, just to be clear, you're yeah. saying we, we've all been told, we've all heard about these, these um, wet markets and the seafood mm. market that, and the reclaims, certainly from the beginning, that this is where it started. You genuinely, in your scientific beliefs, you don't believe that's where it came from at all. No, I have my intelligence from the CDCs in China, from the local doctors, from doctors and other people around China. So also based on my evidence, I work on vaccine and also virology, immunology in the University of Hong Kong. All these things get together clearly shown and now get verified. So these are the truths. All it, the other so, things are covered so up. Jan, where, where does it come from then? It comes from the lab. The lab in Wuhan, and the lab is so controlled by China government. Is it, is it not virtually impossible, though, to, to definitively prove that? Uh, yes, actually, I keep doing it from January, even before I leave Hong Kong. At that time, I didn't expose myself. But now my uh, scientific report work with a small group of top scientists in the world in U.S., uh, it will come to the world soon, very soon, I can tell you. We are going to publish it. There are two reports. The first one will come in several days. Okay. And it will tell people evidence, all the scientific evidence. And, and when you spoke out, did you worry about your safety? 
Oh, actually, from the beginning, I decided to deliver this message out. It was uh, very scary at that time, but I know that's the thing I have to do because I'm the doctor, I'm the scientist, I cannot say it happened. I know if I don't tell the truth to the world, I will be regretful and I will lose the capacity for myself to tell the truth in the future. And actually, How did you the day get I, away? Hmm? How did you manage so, to yeah. leave and get to safety? Yeah, so as I said, Mr. Luder in U.S., he is the director of the board of the Rule of Law Foundation, which is a foundation based in New York and try to help those anti-China government people who reveal the truth to the world. So I contact him and I keep working with him behind to tell the truth until late of April, China government targeted me and they basically tried to make me disappear. I got the information from Mr. Luder and the foundation and him helped me to manage to get the air ticket and also helped me secretly run away from Hong Kong. And just How did after they try to make hours, you disappear? How, what did they do oh, to yeah. try to make you disappear? So this is some common sense for our Chinese people under the China government. We know that basically, like for example, to me, what they have done is delete all my information, uh, especially those things positive for me online. And also they recruit people like cyber military to spread the rumors for me. For example, they said I'm a liar, I'm the one who knows nothing, just keep hamster in the lab. And also they make up more lies to cover it up. And they control my friend, they control my family, life-threatening things. Finally, everyone has to admit even I'm not existing. That's why like how it happened to Hong Kong. Those people disappeared in the movement from last year. The Dr. same Yang, thing. Sorry to interrupt. I just wondered, I mean, you've had to now sacrifice your family, your friends. I mean, it's a massive sacrifice to make that, you, that you've chosen to do. Can I ask, what made you make that decision? Okay, so uh, actually, I never thought it would happen. I mean, yes. when I did the secret investigation, I just thought I should yet yeah, respond to my supervisor and they will do the right thing on behalf of the government and also WHO. But what I see by deeply investigation is no one respond to that. People are scared of the government mm. and they are waiting to collaborate with China government and WHO to get more benefits, to become safe. But this is something, as I say, urgent. At that time, Chinese New Year time, big transportation from Wuhan to China to all over the world. This is a high contagious, dangerous virus. All these things make me cannot keep silence. I mean, yes. this is for human being, for global health. That's what I have to do. Although face to the life threatening, I just want to deliver a message as much as possible okay. before I get despaired. Dr. Yang, we're running out of time. I just want to ask you very quickly, can you give us a little sneak exclusive preview of what you're going to publish in a few days? Give us a world exclusive. Yeah, it's like the genome sequence is like our human fingerprint. So based on this, you can recognize, identify this. This, this thing. So uh, I use the evidence exists in the genome sequence of SARS-CoV-2 to tell people why this is come from the lab in China, why they are the only one who made it. And also, uh, you, everyone who even have no biology knowledge, you can read it and you can check and identify, verify by yourself. Okay. This is the critical thing for us to know the origins of the virus. If not, we cannot overcome it. It will be the life threatening for everyone in our life. Thank you. Yeah.